Hello Year One Yellow, this is a little video to help you access Purple Mash today. I hope it helps. Once an adult has helped you put in the website address and you've added in your number password, you should have a page that looks a little bit like this. Yours should say your name, but mine says Mrs Fish. There's a red clipboard and a purple bell. Now one of those should be flashing on your page because I've sent you a to-do task. So whichever one's flashing, you can click on and hopefully it will take you to this. I'm going to click on this. This is to create a book. This is what I've set you to do. If I open it, I can show you what it will look like. I've been playing around with one already. I made a story all about Frederick Savage. He's the man we're going to learn about in English and history. This is my first page. Frederick Savage was a man. That's what I've written in words. And then I've drawn him with a landscape in the background. I'm going to show you how I did it. I'm going to take you all through the book to find a clean page. I will read this book to you, but we'll use our history lessons and our English lessons to do that. Today, I want you to play around with Purple Mash. Here we go. It's a plain page. Now at the top here, you've got three buttons. If you click on the third one that's got the question mark, it gives you an option. Here, there's a grid with a tree and a house and a triangle. If you click on there, it gives you a huge selection of what backgrounds you can pick. There's fireworks, there's the Great Fire of London, there's a circus tent. I picked just a normal landscape, like trees and fields for my story. Then you've got some pens. If you click on the pens, the lid comes off and it shows it's ready to use. If you're using a computer, you need to use your mouse pad in such a way that moving it won't do anything. You need to press the, right, the left side for you to draw also and hold it down. It's a bit fiddly. If you've got a tablet, you will find this much easier because it's all touch sensitive. I'm just going to draw a stick man for my Fred Savage. He's, got a, he's a stick man with beard. Now I can colour his beard in. If you go to the spanner at the top, it gives you some options of what tools you can use. So there's a paint pot, there's a big splodge effect, there's clouds. You can play about with all of them. Because remember, whatever you try, if you don't like it, you can click this or you can use the rubber and you can rub things out. Let's click on the paint pot. I'm going to click on yellow. Let's give him a yellow beard this time. You see? And that filled it in for me. Now I'm going to click OK because I want to show you how to write. But you can play around with the drawing as much as you would like. When you do click OK, where the A, B, C, upper cut is, that's where we can write. So if we click in there, and if you also click the A, it gives you an option of what text you'd like to use. You can try any of them, have a bit of an experiment. I like Comic Sans, that's what I'm going to choose. OK. And I'm going to write Frederick Savage was a man. Full stop. I've used a capital F and a capital S because it's his name. So I've finished writing my sentence. I've drawn my picture. Purple Mash can also let you add movement or add a sound. Let's try a sound. There's little arrows to listen to them first before you apply them. There's a sheep. There's a horn. There's an applause. I 
I think I like the applause. I've clicked the applause. So that should have applied the applause to my page. When you have finished your first page, so you've done your picture, you might have added a sound, you might have added a movement, which is this button here, the man moving. So in the same way, you can pick a movement and then click OK and it will apply it to your page. Once you've done your first page and you only need to do one page, you're going to go to the red back arrow. This means we want to leave. And before you leave, you need to save and exit. So this one here. And it might take you to another page where it then adds you to add your name. So add your name and the computer will put it in a special file for me to look at your lovely work. I hope you enjoy using Purple Mash. Have an experiment and send me a comment if you have any problems. Bye-bye.